Hello, my name is Steven Johnson, and I'm with iTron's Partner Enablement Team. In this series, I'll give you an overview of how iTron supports MQTT for partner IoT devices. Let's get started. MQTT stands for Message Queuing Telemetry Transport. MQTT is a published subscribe message transport protocol. A central service called an MQTT broker allows clients to either publish or subscribe to a logical grouping of devices called topics. MQTT decouples the producers of data from the consumers of data. One or more consumers have a subscription to a message topic and receive those messages, but they do not need to know details about the source of the messages. iTron's MILI module for low power IoT devices connects sensors to our network infrastructure. MILI typically supports CoAP or the Constrained Application Protocol for exposing sensor data to upstream systems. iTron networks, including the Starfish Developer Network, also support publishing IoT data using MQTT topics. MQTT and iTron networks supports topics that combine devices and sensors. iTron Starfish Network for Developers provides a multi-tenant MQTT broker that publishes data from your IoT devices and sensors. Secure subscriptions from a client application allow you to capture data published by your devices in the Starfish Developer Network. All you need to do is connect your MILI enabled HDK to the Starfish network and Starfish will publish data and alerts to any number of MQTT clients that have subscribed to topics representing your device's sensors. In this series, we will cover how to establish a secure connection to our MQTT broker and subscribe to topics from your sensors. Next, we will use an off-the-shelf MQTT client called MQTT.fx to receive data from your MILI devices. We will also use our reference Java MQTT client to subscribe to topics, capture data from MILI sensors, and publish data to the Starfish data platform. Finally, we will look at a number of available tools that you can use to access and present sensor data published from Starfish.